Honorable Advisor, Civil Administration, Box Department and Taxes. Sri Khamo Sir, Reverend Rako, kindly pardon my pronunciation, I could be some mistakes. I am making a strong effort, such as Mr. Arvindra Majarika. This is Mercy Paul. All my friends, DIJ sir, and all friends, my colleagues from different departments. If I'm missing some names, please pardon me. I'd like to particularly take the name of Dr. Arun. I believe he's been doing wonderful work. I also met Mr. Pritam, Ms. Pandita. I think great work by everybody together. Going by what Mr. Arindam said, I would also like to appreciate the chairman and the vice chairman of the village council for the great contribution in this particular process. As I uh, must explain, extreme happiness. We are really privileged to be here today. Privileged in all possible ways. This is something a project which took off maybe one and one and a half years back. And uh, similar kind of projects have taken place in many parts of the country. What you have just told this is the easternmost common facility center in this particular project, Spurti. But I think this is not just the easternmost project in the country, this is one of the most beautiful CFC in the country. Because the very language which has been used to market Mozo from the mountains of Nagaland, I think will become a catch line which will go a very, very long way. As the ladies were singing the song, my colleague, a very senior general secretary, Madam Ipao, she was kind enough to explain the meaning of that particular song. It was all about the fact that I must say we are privileged that the song said that we are receiving their blessings. That I think is something which I and my wife will carry home. We will never miss this particular day when all the villagers have gathered, given us your blessing. And we are very, very, very happy that we have played a little role, very, very little role in your journey to self sufficiency in your journey to further happiness. I have been told that this is an area of extremely hardworking people, and I must uh, congratulate Advisor Sir because of his decision that he is going to use his own fund into livelihood projects. I think that that is a decision which is remarkable. This is something which should be working. The ministry I represent is, is all for small business. I like to tell a little about this particular ministry. Sometimes MSME sounds like a village of this area. So in a way, I find it very close to the word itself. But this is a ministry which represents the small business. This wants people to become entrepreneurs. This goes into this particular thing. It is not just about job seekers. It is about job givers. And job givers are the people who are the bravest of the people. They are the people who take a little risk. They are the people who give employment to other people. And they are the people who definitely add to the wealth. Add to the wealth of their area. Add to the wealth of the country. 
this particular ministry works in cottage industry, in rural industries. It works across the board. It also works in the small industries. One particular thing which Madam Ipa has not uh, introduced us is that she is the CMD of the National Small Industries Corporation. So that that again is a big big organization of our ministry and doing wonderful work all over the country in small industries particularly. But we are also about small industries, services, increasingly about trading as well. Our essential intention is formulation of this particular sector to bring in technology, to bring technology to doorsteps, to help entrepreneurs, to handhold them, to earn their own livelihood. And one particular ambition of this particular ministry, as it works with all the state governments across the country, is a coordinated response to this particular sector, the policy of this particular sector. And what we are aiming at is that in 10 years, we want this sector to become the biggest employment provider of this country. You'll be happy to know that today it is the number two. It is actually the number two employment provider of this country. Maybe a population of 12 crore are actually working in this sector. We feel and we believe and we have a great trust. The way things are going, this will become the largest of the sector. Small business will ultimately help industries, it will help villages, it will help rural areas and all of my best wishes. I wish more and more CFCs take place here, more use of our fundings and our projects take place in this particular area and we will always be there. We will always be our essential duty is to aid. We, we are there to aid and we are there to help. People who want to take things into their own hands, as a uh, speaker before has told that we are there to help out people who use their hands. One of our latest programs which will be launched in September of this year is going to be called PMB Cars. This is a program for which for the first time this ministry that is the government of India with all the state government is going to launch a scheme which is to some extent something like Sporthi. Sporthi is an end-to-end -end kind of a scheme for projects which involve 500 people, 1000 people. This is going to be about individual. But this particular scheme will speak about credit, it will talk about guarantees, it will talk about tooling, it will talk about training, it will talk about a whole lot of factors including social security so that people, the artisans and the people who are working in the villages actually go to graduate to the level of entrepreneur. The basic intention of this, I'm quite sure this is going to be a path breaking and a landmark kind of a program. I'll, I think it's almost three o'clock and I keep watching people eating outside. So <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who's getting hungry, everybody is getting hungry, but it's, it's really wonderful that you could come here with a little delayed, all of you stayed here and a very, very beautiful program. I pray for a wonderful future, a wonderful future of each and every person living here, each and every family living here. And I'll just end with uh, two persons whom I genuinely wanted to meet, apart from Dr. Sir, obviously. That is the parents of Madam Ipo. I have been in this ministry for the last two and a half years. And I have heard so much about the contribution which you have done for your family, the daughters, all educated, all moved out. Even today morning she told me the stories about you travel to the schools and apparently tigers were throwing stones at you. <laughs> that, that, that was an amazing kind of a thing. But I also told her, wherever you have raised, it's because of your mom. It's also because of your parents. Because they took that extra mile, they walked that particular path. That is the next generation also works further. And I'm quite sure the next generation will work still further. This, I think, is where we take the blessings of all our parents, all our individual parents. We take the blessings of God. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for playing a great host to me and my wife in this business. Thank you so much.